Hey there, Bob from Oregon's Constant Gardener. Welcome to the OCG Fan Show. We're vertical. We're vertical. It's just for this one show. I'm going to explain to you why. Welcome to the OCG Fan Show to you, my YouTube buddies. What's going on? Let me know in the comments. Let's talk about it. But uh, let's talk about the vertical now. Uh, I did a video, video over on the Instagrams uh, for the folks over there. And it was a good one. It's a real good one. So I thought, even though it's vertical, it's going to kind of be a little weird for y'all. Um, that we'll check it out. What it is, is we went over to Nectar for the Gods, Dr. Skodas, Scott Ostrander, about how you make this stuff out of this stuff, out of bone meal, how you turn it into that thing, how they crunch it down and make it liquid and all that. It's pretty interesting. We actually talked to him for a while, then toured the facility. So watch the video. Sorry about the vertical. I'll talk to you after. The reason I wanted to talk to you is I saw this bone you had. These bones, when you see bones out in the desert, and they've been there for hundreds of years and they're still just fine. So when you just take some bone meal and you, you crunch it down into this stuff, how the heck does that get it into your soil well, and break it. down? A lot of the super soil guys out there, the no-till people, that's great. The downfall is we are working with something. It's a mineral. It's a, uh, you know, It's kind of like appetite. a rock almost a oh, little. This is well over 100 years old. Found this in a river bank underneath an oak tree. So this fell and died before the oak tree grew. Flooded hundreds of times. Yep. The integration of, of that's very little. Very little. Yeah. So, so what, what, just, what do you do? T tell us about bone meal. Well, bone meal is calcium phosphate and it's really calcium appetite. So basically, it's literally just a calcium form of nothing left other than it's a crystal. Um, when we get our bone meal post steaming, post processing of all the foods that this could possibly be, what uh -huh. we're left with is literally a calcium appetite, calcium phosphorus. So basically it's just this mineral. It's straight up mineral, calcium, nothing else in there. Well, it has the phosphorus by the makeup of what it is. By what it is, okay. Um, it's, it's an element. It's an element and it's okay. a mineral element at that point. So it's really, it's not available. This isn't soluble. I mean, this has been hundreds of years of rain and water and erosion and we're still not breaking it down. So I fill this up with water. 10 years, 20 years, it's who knows? still water with rocks in it. Wow, okay. So okay. the best way to make that available in a potting soil is surface area. By grinding this down further and further and further, the more surface area we can get out of this material, the more the bacteria, the fungus, the things that living in the soil can actually break this down. Just like us with flour. We can't eat grain very well, but flour, it makes, it's, it's, we make our pancakes. You can't make your pancakes out of grain. They wouldn't be very digestible. Yeah, they'd be a little tough. Yeah. Okay. Um, so uh, same concept there. Yeah. We add this into our soil, and when I see people with these big super soil recipes and they throw in all this weight, they got so many pounds per yard, uh -huh. um, bone meal's not available. And so we've gone to this level of creating available bone meal. Okay. Um, and in different forms. So, so it's not on like perlite or pumice when it's in their soil. Yeah, I mean, well, <laughs> if you buy bone meal, it looks like this, yeah. then they robbed you. Because this is, <laughs> this is most yeah. of the bone meal you're going to see in most okay. product lines is going to be kind of a sand grit. Okay, okay. Yeah. So most people would think that that's fine. It, you, it's gritty. It feels gritty in your hand. It is. It's, yeah, and it still feels like a lot like sand. Not as no, you can finer it. than sand. Yeah, you can hear it click, click, clicking. Yep, little chunks in it everywhere. Um, so what we do is then we send it through another process. We get it this way, we order it this way, we send it to a mill to have it milled this way. Okay. Then we get that in, it's still not fine enough for us to digest with or uh -huh. to make one shot with. Uh -huh. So we keep milling it until we get it down into literally talc. So now we're at a surface area. I mean, you can see. Uh-huh. Okay. It's like talc powder now. It's Wow, huge difference from even this, let alone that. Well, that's it. We take the bone, you grind it up, uh -huh. you chip it up, or you chip it up, grind it up. Then you mill it down to a fine flour, like literally baby powder. Okay. Uh -huh. Now at this time, we can take this and we can either add it to our giant tanks, uh -huh. add in our digesters, okay. our enzymes or uh -huh. our acids. Uh -huh. That will start hydrolyzing this, extracting okay. out the calcium and the phosphorus. And then we are ending up with What's in here? Liquid liquid, it is bone not, li literally liquid bone meal. It's like a it's like a milkshake. It's it's probably thinner than a milkshake a little bit. Like it depends a, on the yeah. Milkshake. Depends on the milkshake. You know, yeah. Some uh, people complain it's thicker than a milkshake. Uh -huh. um, you know, and the thickness in here isn't the bone meal anymore because we've now exploded this open. Oh, we've extracted okay. out what we want. We filter off the bone meal and then we add in a protein gum. 
This would be like Kool-Aid if I put it in my water by itself. Almost, yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, there okay. would be some settling still, but yeah, for the uh, most part, uh, yeah, in okay. an acid. Not okay. Water, it's, yeah. it's soluble. Okay, yeah, sure. Um, so we still, we break it down to this point okay. with the acids. Other than that, you're still going to have this in the water. Now we also take this same level, and that's how we produce one shot. Okay, now if I'm not hydrolyzing, how am I getting it going in here then? So, same thing, we created this grind, we got it super fine Super flour. fine, as fine as it'll go. Man, to this stuff is everywhere. And I know it's all over, ow! Oh, now you got bone meal <laughs> stains all over you. I'm um, like a real boy. <laughs> so if we were to take this chip, right, and add it in with all the other ingredients, this chip still is not a soluble chip. It's right, not right, going right. to be a really, uh -huh. it's not even an enticing meal to microbes. Obviously, if this has been sitting around for 100 years, the microbes Something have been bypassing Something has come across it, yeah, and then turned it down, turned the nose so up. So, we need to keep making this This is like the green beans. Sir. This is beyond green beans. This is like Brussels sprouts that are <laughs> too young to even harvest. Um, so, we take this fine powder, we take molasses, we take lignin, and we roll it. And that's how we end up with the one shot. Okay, now, is, what is lignin? Lignin is a calcium, like a tree sap. Oh, okay. So it's basically like molasses in the sense, but it comes from hard, hardwood trees versus uh, sugar cane. Just another mm -hmm. adhering, Just another sticking agent. Um, it's a really great carbon source. It's rich in calcium. It's um, good on its own, let alone that it helps to get yeah, the other stuff it's, eaten it's up. It's basically uh, Persephone is what okay. we add to this. Okay. Or into the ball, into the powder. That uh -huh. rolls it into a ball, and then we lay all the powders of the other meals that we've broken down into the same like stuff. Kelp and stuff like everything. That. Everything. Kelp, yeah. Micronized uh, minerals, oyster shell, flour, uh, limestone, alfalfa, feather, you know, you name it. Okay. It's on the label. We so, put in the there. very fine grind, mixed with it being uh, rolled up with these, uh, the, the molasses and that sort of thing, is what makes it. Kind of the same thing of where that makes this more uh, enticing to the microbes. That makes it more enticing. They're eating the well, they're, they're eating the eating carbon. Well, that's it. It's with the one shot. We've done this on another video, but uh -huh. the last two ingredients is mycorrhiza and worm casting. So you got a bacteria oh. spore and a fungal okay. spore. Okay. They are living external on this, just like when you buy mycorrhiza from sure, Green sure. Grow, you buy it from anybody Bigfoot. Yeah, Bigfoot. Yeah. Um, the spores are generally on a clay ball. And as you right. hydrate, the clay will melt it and the spore will fall oh, off. And then they, they, they come to life. Yeah, same well, they, concept, they, they, they we're just bedding all those bacteria and fungus oh, on these okay. balls. When they hydrate, now this germinates on their food source and they just start consuming the food. So this is not microbes for the plant or all that process. It's microbes to eat this stuff up to make this stuff available um, to the yeah. plant on some level. Okay. That's what most microbes do. Sure. Okay. Um, so that's it. The process is pull, chip, grind, pulverize liquid or granulate. That's very cool. That's how we do bone meal, but yeah, that's how you make available bone meal. All right. How do you do that? Let's go walk and see. <laughs> what a segue that was. So what we do is we take the bone from this space. We're gonna go behind this wall here and I'm gonna show you uh, the process of how we get it from that chip or that grit down to the flour. We're gonna walk in here and just meet the guys. You'll see a lot of this because you won't be able to hear me, the mill's so loud. So we're putting in some ear protection, got some eye protection on, we're heading in. Let's go. <laughs> I just have one last question for you, Scott. What? 
<laughs> yeah, that's what happens. That's the mill. Come on, let's go see where we make it. Uh, so now we're bringing that in, put in there. Whew, dusty still. This made it from the other building. Now we're gonna go in here where they load it into the tanks. Now that we've got it so finely ground, instead of taking what used to be 12 to 14 weeks to digest this foam meal down, now it's taking like six to eight weeks, depending on the material. Um, the whole process of that is coming into a room, taking those same fine flour bats, throwing them in on one of our venturis, we suck all six tons in, or sorry, 6,000 pounds into this gallon, this vat, and then we add in our ingredients to start the chelation process. And that's basically how we make bone meal. Okay, that was fun. I hope you found that uh, enjoyable and informative. And, uh, you know, that's all the show for today. I'm going to be back tomorrow doing the comprehensive feeding regimen. I love you, and I'll see you then. For more information about anything on today's show, go to our website, ocgfam.com. And if you buy anything while you're there, use the code FAMSUMMER. It's going to save you 20%, and it's a lot of fun. The OCG Fam Show, it's pretty good. It happens every day. It's the OCG Fam Show. See you tomorrow.